And now that we've got a character that can walk around, we're going to play around with giving him some attacks. I've uh, modeled and animated, not quite textured this guy yet. Walking animation speed and the actual walking speed still a bit mismatched. I also did some changes to, uh, to the play area so that it's a little bit more thematically correct. Right now though, he can't attack yet. And I changed around the script a little bit where we used to have a on collision enter that would deal damage to us. That's no longer the case. Instead, uh, I moved that go to on trigger enter because we're going to have a trigger box stuck to the hand that's going to be uh, doing the attacking. So all the attack should be in theory is a trigger to do the attack as well as turning on that trigger box and then turning it off again. Both of which I will likely actually do within the animation. So first things first, let's go to this dude over here. Uh, I've got demon enemy, bone. Seems like bone 11 is the last bone we have. Let's just create an empty object at the end of his hand here. And we'll give that a box collider, which is uh, very, very big indeed. Let's see, I think that should be about it. Yeah, I think that should be about it. I also just realized, by the way, that in this animator here, I have a transition from idle walking to knockback. That should definitely be a transition from any state to knockback. We're going to implement the attacking state now, and we want to also be able to, while he's doing his uh, telegraph, his wind up, if we attack him then, we want to go into the knockback and... It's a very good point now I think about it because uh, we want to also disable the collider if that happens. We'll worry about that later. Back in our script, we're going to uh, the enemy at a... Can we just add a box collider? Yeah, uh, we'll just call that box. Actually, let's be a little bit more descriptive and call it damage box. And we should not forget to set this to is trigger. By default, we also want to set damage box enabled to false and i just realized this probably should be in the patrolling enemy not in the normal enemy scripts that definitely let's move that um enemy has the reference to the animator inside of it so we're going to make a quick function to get that public animator get animator return animator now in attack we can say enemy dot get animator dot set trigger i guess attack to being true just set trigger attack we're going to change that to a bool we're going to change that to a bool because we want to be able to uh well actually that 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 can be a trigger that's that's fine yeah that's fine that can be a trigger i suppose damage box is going to be set to true we already have the trigger set up i forgot about that entirely let's see if we get attacked how about that so if he walks up to us he's not attacking us but uh the trigger box is working so that's a start i think not really oh we uh we never set the transition for this and then this one is just through exit time right yeah okay so now we should start getting attacked so when we get close that works fantastic of course we need to like set the time between attacks as well and we should also make him stop moving when he does his attack because right now he looks really stupid so agent i guess we can enable this real quick and we all do that within a check for can attack being true so if can attack we said can attack be false at the end of this obviously and then in the updates if not can attack attack timer plus equals time delta time if attack attack timer is larger than time between attacks we set can attack back to being true hold on do you not need a collider because you have a nav mesh let's real quick copy this component just in case but then remove this because this looks like it might also just like B, oh, but then if we disable it, it's going to sink through the floor, isn't it? Yep, it definitely is, <laughs> which is a problem. <laughs> yeah, no, you definitely do need the uh, the double colliders there. The attack timer needs to be reset to zero after we reach the end of it. Otherwise, it's just going to immediately <laughs> only work once. 
Sometimes I'm the stupid one. Sometimes it's definitely the engine. And in today's video, we've had both. So yeah, we, we really only want this. Yeah, that also probably shouldn't be the case, eh? This seems to work pretty decently now. I mean, still it needs to not be moving while it's in that attacking state. So we can change that pretty easily. Check its tag for being an attack. And if it's a attack, we don't do anything else. We just return. So enemy attack, the tag will be attack. I mean that as long as we're in this state, none of the other state changes or anything will happen. So we shouldn't have this guy moving when he's attacking. So when he attacks, he should stop moving, but he doesn't. Why doesn't he stop moving? And it, it, it still doesn't work. Which leads me to believe that the issue might be in the rigid body sliding around, not so much in the nav mesh agent. Because you see, now it stops, it's chasing me again, and that time it didn't stop, and that time it did. <laughs> it seems pretty random as to when it stops and when it doesn't. Does it only stop when it starts attacking me when I wasn't already in its range? That seems to be the case, if it was already chasing me, it seems to not stop. So something about the chase isn't working properly. But that doesn't make any sense because it should only be able to get these states when we're not using... Did I like misspell attack or something stupid like that? I'm just going to like copy this over. Yeah, nothing changed here. I didn't think so. I, I have to check. It doesn't make any sense, but I have to check. Is it chasing me while it's attacking? It makes literally no sense if that's the case. But now it's chasing, now it's attacking, now is it doing both? No, it's literally only attacking. And attack, we're just going to make that function real quick, because I'm losing my fucking mind. Uh, because we need to set this uh, damage box back to uh, being disabled. We're going to change this into a function start attack as well, so that I can call this from different uh, parts of that animation too, because we don't want it to be able to damage the player until the swing forward the swing backwards shouldn't be able to damage that wouldn't be very fair the only thing that i'm thinking about still is how the hell will i call this and attack um from the enemy knockback in this script without the issue is it, it can't be in this script because this is a general purpose thing right so this will also be in like bosses and stuff like that which actually um i just realized this needs to be in the enemy script proper so let's copy these over funny thing how i started putting them in there and then end up not having them in there <laughs> and now i'm putting them back in there but trust me this makes the most sense at least to me right now so putting these back in there because now we can um we don't need to even set anything in this script for those because that's going to get done through the animation but putting them in this script means that we can also disable them outside of the animation every type of enemy is going to have to need to like enable and disable the damage boxes anyway so here in damage enemy uh we can say and attack so if it was enabled when it got hit it would disable it like if you hit the enemy at the same time it doesn't go running around with like a very dangerous hand i just want to think up until here ish and then we start attack and then here we put another one that ends the attack and it works fantastic setting it back to not being damaging though doesn't work so that is interesting did we get any and it's out oh, because i gave it the wrong name that's <laughs> i'll give you that one that's on me we don't have end attacks we only have and attack singular so now you should try to hit us once and then we can just walk into this hand all we want and until you try to attack us again it's not damaging our attack works it's been at this for an hour we still have the uh the sliding issue to a certain extent but it's really not that bad like yeah if i'm trying to like goad him into it he definitely slides around and for some reason now the knockback stops what the fuck is going on here why is the knockback not working anymore? Gotta be because I have no idea why. When we started this recording, when I started working on this today, the knockback works. I even have it on video. 
I don't think I changed anything related to how the knockback works. Is it the fact that I changed the animator? Because that doesn't make any sense either. Oh my god, it does have to do with the animations. What? <laughs> what? Hold on, it does have to... What? How does it have anything to do with the animator? That's just a mesh that doesn't... Okay, apply road motion, turned off. Now it works again. Fine. Fantastic. Amazing. It works definitely somewhat well. <laughs> it works well enough for now. I think we've uh, we've got the attack, we've got the knockback working again, we've got the recovery working. Ideally, I would actually maybe like it if after being attacked it stands around idling for a second. Mostly because I've made that idle animation and I don't want to go to, uh, have it go to waste. But largely I think this is good enough to start considering to make this into the um, prefab template for normal enemies.